Growing up, one of my favorite, favorite things on the whole planet was seeing the new latest it bags when they hit the store. The 2000s was when the it bag really emerged. I think the first one that came on my radar was the Chloe Paddington and I dreamt of that bag. Obviously I couldn't afford it, but I dreamt about it. I'd go to Selfridges with my mum, I'd stand and just stare at it. The next one I was obsessed with after that was the Fendi Spy Bag. I loved it so much, it hurt. But literally growing up, I was obsessed with the newest thing. And one of the most exciting things that ever happened was when Marc Jacobs would do his collections for Louis Vuitton, where he would collaborate with these amazing artists. So I remember uh, Louis Vuitton and Richard Prince. I remember Louis Vuitton and Murakami, which was amazing. And obviously I remember Louis Vuitton and Kusama. And what's funny is those collections had their big moment at the time, then everyone sort of forgot about them. And now they have come back with a bang. And anyone who's a handbag collector is literally obsessed with archival LV Murakami, archival LV Kasuma, and the premiums on those are huge. Now, earlier on last year, Louis Vuitton started teasing that they were going to have a second collaboration with Kusama around 10 years after they did the first. I don't know if you remember the first, but it was kind of like red polka dots, yellow polka dots, inspired by the amazing, amazing Kusama pumpkins. And it was just so fun, so whimsical. And these pieces now are pretty much, I wouldn't say unbuyable, but they trade at a premium. I don't think we've ever had a Kusama, a vintage Kusama in at Celia, which is crazy. And we get every bag. But the fact that no one has bought us a vintage Kusama just speaks to the fact that they are so, so collectible. Second time round, I didn't know what to expect of the collection. And then I saw it. And I thought it was amazing. There was only one piece from the collection I wanted. So I called up my wonderful, beautiful, amazing contact at LV, who's also a very good friend. And I said, please, 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 can I have this piece? And he said to me, darling, I mean, I know we're friends, but even for you, it's gonna be hard. It's a wish list item. I need to get approval from head office. It, it's just a hard, oh, sorry, son. You see, we're having this like heavenly moment as I'm talking about this piece. Um, so I need to get approval from head office because it is so special. So I said, look, if you can't do it, you can't do it. Fast forward around a month, I'm walking through Harrods, Louis Vuitton, very much in my own head. I then look up and I see that I'm surrounded by the most amazing multicolor rainbow dots. And I realized that it's the launch day of the collection. It's still really quiet. So a sales assistant comes up to me and says, Madam, is there anything I can help you with? And I said, probably not. I want this one piece. Do you have it? And she said, oh, let me check on the system. So she checks on the system. She looks at me and she says, yeah, we've got one. There's one left. It's on display, but I can take it off a display and give it to you. You are not ready for this. You are not ready for this. Oh my God. Oh my word. So this is the Louis Vuitton Yeo Kusama Kipo. And it is a thing of glory. This collaboration is one of the biggest collaborations that Alvi have ever done. That over 450 products you can shop with her iconic print. But there's one product that is sold out worldwide, impossible to get, wish list only, and it is this key pole. I like to enjoy my bags, and whether it's a Birkin or a Chanel, it doesn't matter if it's white lambskin, doesn't matter if it's like a pink Swift Birkin, I enjoy my bags. I do not care. I don't think they should sit in a box. With this one, I have not taken it out yet, because for me, it's the most precious bag that I own. 
because I'm only ever gonna get this one and it will never come along again. A Birkin, yes, it's hard, but you can get that again. This is never ever coming along again. So when I bought it, I thought, oh, I'll wear it as a gym bag, I'll wear it as a travel bag. But guys, I am terrified. I'm like terrified. I don't wanna get water on the vachetta. I don't want to see a mark on this because it is so special. We're getting there, I will eventually use it. At the moment, it's sitting in my closet and I just look at it every day and mount. If you are buying from the collection, obviously the star buy is the key pole followed by the speedy, followed by the little mini pochette on chain, and finally there's a really, really cool makeup case. But there's so many incredible pieces. What I love are these textured, wet daubs of paint all over the canvas. Obviously you have a signature pochette. I mean, it really is a thing of beauty. I know it's not everyone's taste. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I know it's Marmite, I know some of you will be thinking it's absolutely vile, but if you love it, just tell me how much you love it.